Right, problem number 18 has us trying to identify a, let's see, ah, we've got this container of ethane and it's been closed and we want to investigate to see if we can find the molar mass. So it was closed up at STP. The mass of a gas sample is 0.244 grams. That mass has a volume of, it said 185 milliliters, but I converted it to liters because we're using the ideal gas law. And I'm going to be using my equation that the molar mass is density times R times T divided by P. So I need to find density, and density is just mass divided by volume, which means that density is 0.244 grams divided by 0.185 liters. Now, I don't need to solve this right now. Matter of fact, I don't have any reason to solve it right now. Instead, I just want to plug it into my equation. So other things that I know about this, if it's STP, standard temperature is 273, and standard pressure is one atmosphere, that tells me my R is going to be 0 0.0821. So I can simply substitute in the molar mass of this sample is, I've got my density term, 0.244 over 0.185, that's grams over liters, then R, 0 0.0821, then the temperature, which is 273, that's the standard temperature, and then the pressure, which is one atmosphere. Given the choice, I chose atmospheres. Well, it wasn't really a choice, but I picked it because it makes the math that much easier. So, when I solve this, I find that the molar mass that I determine experimentally is 29.1 excuse me, 29.5 grams per mole. Alright, if I use the periodic table to find the molar mass of ethane, which is C2H6, that's just going to be two times the molar mass of carbon plus six times the molar mass of hydrogen. And that turns out to be 30.1 grams per mole. So this is pretty close, but there's still some experimental error. Question is, how much? Well, percent error equals the absolute value of the error between the expected and the actual and the experimental. divided by the expected. Sometimes this is called the actual times 100. And we find out that we have 1.99% error. So that's how much we missed it by. So what's the source of this error? Assuming that the data are correct, that this was the mass, this was the volume, it was done at STP, so I know the temperature and pressure are right. Then the source of this error, if there's not a mistake in a measurement, is due to the fact that this is a version of the ideal gas law. And, oops, that's misspelled. And ethane is not an ideal gas. And that's why there's a little bit of error.